beautiful day. Did you notice that the the days are starting to change? Did you notice that? It's a little darker today. Is it? <laughs> so we had a good day yesterday. I made big, huge, couple of big, huge pots of menudo. I owed some to my nephew, um, uh, Joe. And uh, so I just made a big, huge, gigantic pot. Um, well, I made two big, gigantic pots and I sent them over to my uh, nephews and my niece. Well, I called them over. Well, I called them because I was trying to make deliveries. Yeah, because I had told him, I was like, oh, will you please take this over to him, to them? And he's like, no. And he's so funny because he stood at the door and he was like, here. <laughs> and I was like, did, did you just gave it to them? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> it's too hard for them to come to us all, with all our dogs and stuff. It's just a mess. It's just like, they come, they jump on you and everything. It's... It's my, uh, this, this house is for the dogs, right? It's for the dogs. Yeah. It's for the dogs. <sighs> Back to work. For another day. I'm going to try to be good today. I think I could be good. I have troubles. It's not my fault. Just wish, what do I wish? I wish I could do my job and everybody would leave me alone. <laughs> That's what I wish. I don't mind the patients and I don't mind the family members and staff and everything. It's just like, it's just like, why can't we just get our job done without all of the in between conversation? I think. Well, no, not the conversation. I like the conversation, but. It's just, uh, it's, it's just, it's very different from way, way back when. And I'm old, that's what it is. I think that's what it is, I'm just old. Mm. I'm probably just old. You're long in the tooth. I'm long in the tooth. I'm long in the tooth, yes I am. So, I don't know, just kind of get used to it, I guess. It was much better the other day at work than it was. Okay, so there was this dog. This is the thing. There's this, uh, gosh, I can't, I don't know what they called it. There's this doctor that they hired, and they're, they come in for short spurts of time, from what I understand. I had never heard about them. It starts with an L. What did I tell you, Luke? Like, I don't pay attention to what you tell me half the time. Anyway, so <laughs> it's that they get the, them from this company or whatever. They're doctors. They come in for short periods of time, for like maybe a week or two, I guess, from what I understand. And, um, basically they're travelers. They're, they're travelers. That's such a mistake. I am going to tell, I don't know if anybody that, you know, I work with listens to this or watches it. That's a mistake because all it does is it causes havoc, complete havoc. I wanted to quit because of that doctor. There was a traveler, a traveling nurse who called off the next day because she didn't want to have to deal with him because he upset her so much. I mean, it just, it causes havoc just everywhere. Everybody was upset. He, uh, apparently, I didn't quite hear uh, exactly what was going on, but another nurse, he totally embarrassed her in front of a family because he, I don't know. But you know, this is the thing, everybody's like, oh, well, that's just one doctor. Well, um, one of the travelers was saying that they worked with, um, uh, up in New York, they, during, I don't know, for like three years, she said they used this company or whatever these doctors are. They used them um, a lot. And can I just say, they had a lot of like, um, a lot of patients die up there during, during COVID. And I'm kind of wondering, I'm sorry that I say this, but I'm kind of wondering if that's not why. Because you have these doctors coming in and they don't know, they don't know that, I mean, they know how to be a doctor, 
but there's so much more when you come in because there's policies, there's practices, there's all kinds of things that you, you know, and and uh, you, you know you're not you're not functioning the way you should that a company should. You know, I mean they always say that you have to have um, what is that word? It starts with a C. Uh, cohesion. Well, not cohesion, but yeah, kind of cohesion. It's early in the morning. I can't. Um, not compatibility. I know somebody will tell me later. They're like, Sandy, it's this. Um, continuity. That's the word I'm looking for. You need continuity, not only with your patients, but you need continuity with your doctors as well and with your nurses. You know, um, we like to get the traveling nurses in. We do because, you know, they do help us out in times when we are short staffed. We love it even more when we find traveling nurses who fit in with our, our group, with our team, and we can keep them for a long period of time because then, you know, we have that continuity. Well, we need that continuity with the doctors as well. We can't just be bringing in, you know, doctors weeks at a time and then saying, you know, like, oh, this is this is the, what we need to do. This is, this is what we're supposed to do. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be good because you know what? We're, we're helping people out. You're not helping anybody out, believe me. Believe me, you need continuity. And I, and you know, I maybe that's just my opinion, but it wasn't just one doctor, believe me. You bring more of those doctors in, it's gonna be, it, it, it's, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. I mean, you're gonna have patients that are quite literally, they'll die. They'll die. <laughs> I said it. I mean, really, I mean, it's just because that continuity is not there and the patients aren't being taken care of like they should be. I'm so going to get fired. They're probably like, Sandy, will you just keep your mouth shut and get off of YouTube? That's probably what they're saying at this point. Not going to happen. You know, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's just something that needs to be said. I just don't know who's making these. I don't know. I don't know who's making decisions out there in the nation. In, in, in the nation, in our city, in our businesses, and I, I just, I don't know. It just seems like nothing is working right. I don't know. I feel lost. Do you feel lost? No, I do not. This is good, because I'm feeling lost. I'm feeling lost, and I don't know what that is. I don't know why. I feel like I don't belong. Like, like I feel like I don't belong here. Let's move. up and go. You have to chill the kids? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. I just don't feel like I'm alone. It's so weird. So, something that's going on in the world, I was telling Joel today, I was like, the Taliban, Taliban took over. Afghanistan. The Taliban took over Afghanistan. What does that mean for us? And what does that mean about us, to be quite honest? That's all I'm saying. The U.S., I mean... We kind of suck right now. So I was so I was watching the news and said, well, I wasn't watching the news. I seen, I, I pulled it up because I happened to see something on, on, was it Facebook? I don't know what it was. But so I pulled it up on YouTube, so that's what I watched. So I pulled up something about it on YouTube and I saw um, that the, tele the Taliban is allowing um, U.S. citizens and the embassy and everything to leave peacefully and everything. And they're all, they, they all went to the airport and um, there was some fire on the airport too. Um, but they all went to the airport, you know, trying to leave peacefully and get out of there as fast as they can. Um, but I, I did see where they had like, um, uh, like a gunman who, who were trying to keep the Taliban from taking over. They had like 15, 15 of them on a row, in a row and they were on their knees where they um, executed them, you know, behind the head. You could see where they just fell over, um, you know, dead. And there was even a young boy there too. Because of course, you know, the young, the young men, young boys of like 14, 15, you know, 
know, uh, fight alongside them. And um, what does that mean? To, what does that mean? I don't, I just, you know, we live in this, we live in, uh, you know, in the United States where we, we just take everything for granted, you know. And then we, you know, you look at and you see something like that. And, uh, and you, you can't help but, you know, thank God that we're here. You know, that, that, that God allowed us to be here. You know, that I was born into this place. And I don't know, it's kind of, what are your thoughts on that? Lucky. We, we are very lucky. We're very, we take everything for granted. And then we complain. Of course we complain, right? Then we complain. You know, I don't feel like I belong here, right? Yeah, it was, um, it's kind of heart-wrenching when I saw that, though, because, you know, I mean, and these days, you know, back in, back in my day, we didn't see any of that stuff, you know, they kept that all quiet. It didn't mean that that stuff didn't happen, it's just that, you know, you didn't, it wasn't so publicized, and now, you know, they just show it on, you know, whatever, television or whatever, and, and to see, you know, a, a line of men and a boy just, you know, uh, I mean, just dead, assassinated. assassinated. I mean, it, it was just, it's, it's, I don't know. And maybe that's why I don't feel like I belong. I just don't belong here. I you know, yeah, why would that be allowed to be, take place anywhere in the world, right? Yeah. I just, I'm like, do I, why? Why? I just don't get it. Well, I'm going to thank God that I'm here. And I'm going to thank God for my job. I'm going to thank God I'm allowed to be here to take care of people in a safe place. Really. I'm going to get myself all upset, so I'm just going to stop. So I got to go to work. So anyway, I hope everybody has a really great day. Uh, guys, stay safe out there. Be good. And uh, you got anything to say today? Peace. Peace. Have some peace, for sure. Have some peace. I love everybody, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.